these teams are taking the field. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Cincinnati will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Mike 51, Mike 51. Set, Oklahoma. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 41-yard line, first down. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. The middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Roger, Roger. Go, Mike, get one. Mike, get one. Go. He's at the twenty. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 17-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the seven. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Colorado! So this entire group functioned so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. From the five-yard line, that was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Bounds at the 39. On the ground, inside. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Brought down right around the 34. Gain of 27 yards. That makes it first and 10. They'll knock him down for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Check 
complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds around the 22-yard line. First down. Tackles him hard at the 26. That's a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Gets it. He's in space. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. That'll make it 39. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And he's hammered down. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They move the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Colorado holds a four-point lead. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 19. From the 19 yard line. First down. Mike 51, Mike 51. That's a great tackle at the 11. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take a win call. Mike, Mike 51. Gets to about the 11 yard line. Carry. No gain. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He has some room. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 81 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play column on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score. 
14-3. And he just got stood up right there. We're through one quarter. Colorado's in front by 11. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Take four, take four! He's to the 40, makes it to the 41. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. He's tackled at the 44. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 39. Caught, open field. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Gives it to the back. And down he goes. Right around the eight-yard line. Game of two yards. Third down. Right there. Right there. Right there. Pitches out, and the ball is up for grabs. Picks up the loose ball. He's got an opening. The five. He scores. What a play. Makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he adds the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. Brought down at the 32-yard line. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. And he is drilled at the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of 18 yards. First down. Makes it to the 31. On the tackle. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Let's go! Easy, easy, Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Number 20 brings him down at the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Check, check, check. 
He's going to try and scramble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. He's on the run, and he's sacked, and they get to him again. This guy's got to show some senior leadership out there and regroup his offensive linemen. They're getting outplayed right now. So that sack will back him up a little now, and they're looking at a difficult third and 13. A little toss across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. They get four yards on that pass play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buffaloes are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. We're about set to start things up again. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's brought down in the open field. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Finds his receiver who's all alone. He's taken down at around the 48-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Zips it to the back. Brought down at about the 41. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. That'll bring up second and three. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. Colorado will take their second time out of the half. From the 16-yard line, first down. After a decent pickup. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Such a talented, skillful back as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. 
He makes the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Scrambling around. And their cats will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle at the 41. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Three down, three down. Six, six. Flag on the eight. Flag on the eight. Kill it, motion me out. Throwing right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's a game of 24 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. He's going right. The pass falls incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and it cause him some problems. Throwing left. Nice catch on that one. Touchdown, Cincy! They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Turn it up, turn it up. Ready, green, 19. Green, 19. Ready. He scrambled. And they won't get the two. A six-play, 75-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. He goes down at the 31-yard line. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. Colorado's got a 16-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both offenses rolling at will in the first half. And as you watch these teams head to the locker room for halftime, there were some skill guys. That, that chest was puffed out a little bit more. They were kind of looking up in the stands and said, did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah, see, ready to pat their stats, get some helmet stickers. Yeah, they're all excited. But I tell you what, that's the one thing that's hard about the game of football you see all the time is the momentum swings. Once you really get dialed in and once things start going your way, Sometimes it's hard to stop it, and that's why you see runs on offense, and both offenses in great rhythm. I mean, they, they haven't had many negative plays. Everything's gone in the right direction. They're both performing at a high level. One of these defenses in the second half needs to step up, make some plays, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 30. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He wants it all going long. To the 20. Keeps his eye on it. Makes the catch. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. Gain of 65 yards. That makes it first and goal. They failed down here the last two times. Knocked out of bounds, just outside the goal line. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and goal. for the score, and they're back in it. So it's the Big Hoss on the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition. And he converts the extra point. Cincinnati is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Down. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's tackled right around the 34. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. That's a great tackle at the 24. That is a loss of 10 yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. it fly oh boy almost intercepted number 22 was the intended receiver on the play that brings up fourth and 11 he puts it away and it's a great kick he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Fires out to his wideout. Very good tackle in space. That's good for a gain of 19 yards. First down. And he tackles him hard at the 27 yard line. He's scrambling. And now he's going to run. Decides to slide. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled right around the 12-yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Six. 
Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 12. His tight end touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven play, 53 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 48-26. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Cincinnati's been having a really tough time here in the third quarter. Well, it's kind of a bump in the road here for them. It's important for them to just get back to the basics and doing what they were doing in the first half. Remember, you still have the lead. Gotta dust yourself off and get ready to win this football game. Colorado holds just a two-point lead. Second and ten. Ball of the 22. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. Number 43 goes in for a loss at the 20-yard line. That brings up third and 12. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. down and about two yards to go. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Fights forward to around midfield. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From midfield. Second down. Pick it up, pick it up. Colorado is up two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Out, got the corner, and they push him out at the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second. And this is the 10th play of the drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Slings it. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. Well, the third quarter is in the books, and you have to wonder if either defense is going to make a stop in the fourth. 28-26, Buffalo.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. the 24 yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Good outside run there. Second down, five to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Colorado with a two-point advantage. Here he goes. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. The Bearcats are flying through this ball game. They have scored 23 unanswered points. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Right, right, right. Decent run here, right side. Good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play. That makes it second and two. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He's tackled in the open field. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. Here's an opening. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Number 43 makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That We've got a second and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. Throws and it's incomplete. Number 15, the intended receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. He's scrambling. There's a fumble. It's recovered. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He 
makes his way to about the 38. The Bearcats taking their first time out of the half. That'll make it third and one. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Makes it to the 44. Cincinnati will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Tackle and a decent pickup. Cincinnati's called their final timeout. That makes it second and six. They'll go Brown. Nice run to the outside. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. And this play is number eight on the drive. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Colorado 35, Cincinnati 26. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.